Welcome one and all. Welcome back to the adventures of Mr. Stabby. Now, we had had some technical issues. Uh, I did record uh, another episode, but uh, there's a bit of a problem. For some reason, my audio recording program did not record my commentary. So, <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to say, but uh, I couldn't go back to where we originally left off. So, uh, but don't let that discourage you. We will continue the... Uh, episodes from here on out on a more regular basis and I'm going to actually make sure that the audio program is really recording. So now with that out of the way, back to the adventures of Mr. Stabby. As you can see we kind of jumped up to level four. Yeah sorry about that guys. You guys uh okay so far all you guys really missed was uh the Bleak Falls bar uh, Barrow, 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 Bleak Falls Barrow Adventure Dungeon Dive. Um, nothing really to see there. Uh, I will uh, maybe include some of the best clips at the end. Um, no, maybe not. Nah, that probably it probably would be worthwhile. We've all been there. We've all seen it. We've all done that. Yes. Okay. So now we are off to see the dragon. Why is that lady in the lake? In the moat? Eh. Oh yeah, remember to uh, comment with your ideas of how we should play and it will be done. Remember, this is your story. Thank you. Thank you. That's a nice guard. I like that guard. Most of the guards here are jerks. So yeah, just remember to uh, comment, and the top comment or most voted comment will uh, be the one that decides how we will uh, play through this story. Because remember, this is your story. Good luck. I hope you get there in time. Oh, thank you. There, another nice guard. This is so strange, I'm not used to meeting so many nice cards. And apparently she's admiring the cheese. There we go. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. Yeah. But House Card, how could we fight a dragon? Do not question her. Question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Exactly, yes. Would you let me face this thing alone? No, no, so no dead. But it's more than our well, I'm pretty stage. sure you're immortal, so. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours. If you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah, damn yeah. right. Let's move out. No, I never noticed that small insignia there before. So those are the little things that like really get my attention with this game. That's why I love it so much. This is the only like part that I really don't like about the game. 
Other than that, though, it, I love this game completely. Come, let's hop. Hop! Yeah, just random human ribcage just laying there on the floor. It's not, you know, look at it or anything. Flowers. Okay. I guess you want to run around the rock for a good luck. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. No kidding, what tipped bad, you off? But we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what to do. It's a dragon, there's really not much to discuss other than that. Big, fire-breathing lizard. Tough as all heck. Get back! It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Guardsmen, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Yes, sir, it's somewhere around here. Us. Here he comes again. Here he comes! Find cover and make every arrow count! This looks like a time for Mr. Stabby. No, I think they use this from this tower from like uh Man, I completely forgot the name of this town. Rain from above. That's why it's important to have your potions, kids. Don't do drugs. They're bad for you. Uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. Really? Ah. Ah. earlier. Might as well take that now. Yeah. No, before I become extra, extra crispy. Yeah. This is all kinds of nope. Okay. 
important so, note, uh, when he gets about like uh, halfway damaged, he will be compelled to land. Just like that. Just gotta keep peppering the jerk. Come on, you bastard. Just stop. Yep. Yes. <laughs> want to keep your Ooh, arrows, yes. Uh, I don't want to get over and cover just yet. What's happening? Everybody, get back. Yes. Yes. I will absorb you. This is why I picked up the Talus Blessing. It's good for six hours, so. Water breathing. Or stone. Okay, this is why I picked our gun. There is a disease. Okay. What matter of power? Believe it. You are Dragonborn. Yes. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know what happens. No, I think you might be yes, right. I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be dragon. Well, I've always been able to shout. Just, you know, just... Never been able to do it without, you know, magic happening in the process. Uh, we'll just take your arrows. Because, you know, you don't really seem to need them. Ooh, steel dagger. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiots. They're just coming back now for the first time in... Forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerla? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerla. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Marry me. Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Tuscar. You ain't an orphan. Well, of course, Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as out That's there. racist. You're racist. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting. What you just did must be. Really are dragonborn then. I can do it again. The voice of the dragonborn. Now I go back. Get ready to make my explanation. No, what am I doing? Fast travel. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. No fast travel. I just can still fast travel.
as soon as I get up the gold for getting a horse. This walking around business is BS. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. Whoa. I don't think I've seen you before. Do you hunt? Oh, now I remember. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Ismail, you did it. You killed the dragon. I ain't done. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. The gift of charity added. Oh, wait, no. Wrong one. Uh, effects. Fierce spirit. Okay, uh, no. Don't want that. Uh... Where is it? Oh well. There's been talk amongst the gods. I really don't like that guy. I think we might kill him. It's the only logical solution. <laughs> uh, I feel evil already. Okay. Look at him standing up there all fancy schmancy. Good. You're finally here. The all has been waiting for you. Cool. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. Cool. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yep. The Watchtower was destroyed when we killed the dragon. Turns out I'm something called Dragonborn. Cool, huh? I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. Let's go with this route. I don't want to sound jerky unless you guys want me to sound jerky. Again, you guys have to like comment, otherwise I'm just gonna keep guessing how you guys I want me to play. I could count on Irilef, but there must be more to it than that. Turns out it's called Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? Not much. That's just what the men call me. Not just the men. The Greybeards seem to think the same thing. Uh, what do the Greybeards want me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. The Greybeards are masters of the way of the voice. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? No, because I'm deaf. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. No! This hasn't happened in centuries, <gasps> at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? <gasps> Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. No nonsense. Ongar. Why, you puffed up. Kill him. Parent. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Yeah, yeah. Ongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed Dude, something in you. Heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? 
You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? How would I know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. AKA a long walk. The Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. Well, they're monks. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. There we go. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Oh, so heavy! Can't walk. I don't think I've ever really looked at the Axe of Whiterun. Huh? That's 10 measure good damage. You know what? We're going to use that. And we're going to... Oh, no, wait, wrong one. And we gotta sell some of this stuff. Um, we are going to take a. Whoa, forgot about that. Should probably disenchant and sell some of this stuff. Okay, uh, we will be back in a little bit. I just have to slowly waddle my way out that door so I could start, you know, doing the right stuff. See you in a bit. Now, before we do anything else, we want a companion, and I want him. There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. What's your problem, Sev? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. He's kind of scary looking. I hope. You hope? You don't sound very sure. Uh, you're right. What have, what have words ever inspired feelings of? <laughs> uh, I, I like that. That's sarcastic. I like that. I don't need your jokes right now. But maybe you have a point. Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Her? Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. All right, then. Uh... Huh. Hmm. What does the letter actually say? Oops. There we go. Oh, there we go. I thought that was going to be worse than that. Uh, where is this set person? I want to see what his side story is. Is this him? No. I don't think I've ever seen him before. Out of my way, stranger. Eh, whatever. Have a drink. Got any ale or mead? Yeah, apparently I do have that. Until next time. Oh, crap, was I? Did I just drink it? I think I did. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem alright. You're not? 
I mean, not, you kind of make it his point. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get him like that, so. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. Excuse. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. I... There we go. Let's see. Who's where? Okay. Uh, let's see what this sub has to say. Get me mad, and I'll scream. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. There you are. Let's see. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. At the Bard's College in Solitude, they train bards and scalds like myself. If you go there, talk to Viarmo. He's the headmaster. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Feindel? Here. I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. All right, then. No, this is kind of fun. I'm going to see what their reaction to each other is. Uh, let's, see what, let's see where this goes. Hey, puppy. I, I kind of want to see this. Oh, well. Oh. Uh, I misread that, uh. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? Who among us could possibly Oh, let's see what happens. You guys are good archers, so. One of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics. No thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done. She's gonna have the pouty duck look. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Like that old thing, like uh, you had to hear that. the pouty selfie. She kinda has that look going on. Here you go. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the rip. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Y you found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Yeah, great story, bro. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. Better. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. You better not forget this. That was a pain in the butt to get. Ooh, 400 gold. How much gold does that make it now? <sighs> Good news, everyone. We can buy a horse. Uh, letter. Uh, let's see what happens. It means so much to us. To it's a fine day with you around. Devil's advocate. Devil's advocate. What do I do? Ah, oh, stop choice. Uh, said wanted me to trick you into believing this letter was from Prendel. I have a letter from Prendel. Lie. Mm. Let's see where this goes. If we don't like it, we'll just redo it. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He, he wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Until next time. Uh. Okay. I don't know what's happening. This is the first for me. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. What's this? Don't get on my bed, so. Oh, uh. Dr. Fendel.
Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Okay, so... Alright then. That's what we got. Uh, let me just see what's what the other option is, and then we'll redo it. Because honestly, I'm kind of curious. Sorry about this, but I, but I am curious. I need to know what happens if we do it the other way. I said no. The river Here we go. Because uh, yeah, I want that uh, gold. Ornament. Solid. You, I'm going to put this back where it belongs. Shove and give me my money. Never forget this. You've done a great thing for me. Give me and my, my money. Sister. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Give me. There we go. Everything you need in a general store. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. I have a letter from Fendal. From Fendal? That's strange. He's never written to me before. What? What is this? Is this what he really thinks about me? Well, you can tell that that long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. He's not welcome. I'd better get going. Ah, I should have looked at the thing. Alright, well, we'll look at the thing in a little bit. But you know what? I might as well do that now. Sorry, I'm gonna edit all this out so that way it's, like, easier for you guys. Patrick, no thief. Yes, the thief, Jason. Says fake letter from Vendal. Okay, let's see what this says. <clears throat> I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you ha may have for me aside. I am a true born son of Valenwood, and I could never be befool my befoul my bloodline by courting an Imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the all married dominion and respect me as such. Sincerely, Fendal. Wow, that's that's kind of mean, dude. Seb's kind of mean. They're both kind of mean. I don't know who to root for. It got bad back in Cyrodiil. The war with the Thalmor ruined. Everything. There's a war with the Thalmor? Okay. I kind of want to see what Sib's reaction will be. From Vindal? That's... What... What is... Well, you can tell that... That long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. He's not welcome. Okay, now that we got that settled, we find out what happens with Sib. Because... Ferrandol kind of just you know, gives us money. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't I want to smack that kid. Should I smack that kid? I kind of want to smack that kid. Is it wrong for me to say that? Nah, it probably is. Get me mad, oh, and I'll smack you. What the? Not a little, a lot. He's a freaking stalker. Those cold, dead eyes. <laughs> wow, that's just creepy. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Now, that's what I like to hear. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. Oh, um, that's it? Really? That's kind of disappointing. What can this guy do? I'm not too happy with this one. I think Let's we're going to go with Ferndall. Yes. Definitely so. We're going to go with Ferndall because I know what he can do.
he is a good archer, and he can provide more help than I think uh, the other guy. Yeah, well, I don't know what you over. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm no sorry. I don't mean to keep making you guys you experience this. I'm gonna put this back. I know it's I mean to do that to you guys. Maybe you can talk. Okay. I, I'm actually feel better about like uh, siding with Ben Ferrandall. He seems like a little bit nicer than uh, Sev. Besides, who the hell kind of, kind of name is Sev? Who names their kids Sev? Sounds like a hipster name. Hey, look, a chicken! Park, park. Okay, uh. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I don't think uh, Camilla will be spending more time with Sev. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Good. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. Okay. Uh. Huh, you're an older looking elf. Bad hair. Whatever. Off to adventure, my friend. First, we should probably get you some good armor because I don't want to have to keep, you know, reviving you. Call but. You're wrong. May the gods watch over your battle. I'm not your friend. Oh, actually, you're cool, so I guess we are friends. My father is Alpha, the blacksmith. Ooh. I'm his assistant. I need a apprentice. Whatever you need. It didn't say steel. It's not stolen. I can forge it. Someday, I'm going to forge my own sword. I doubt that. Okay, uh... You looking for a new... kit? The finest weapons and armor. Okay, now that we have a little bit of spare gold, um, we should get you some armor. Well, we should make you some armor. Okay. <sighs> Damn it! Alright, whatever. Whatever. It is All what it right. is. Whatever. No time to make you that armor. Ready for weapons. So I make a lot we don't have all the stuff you need. So I'm right behind you. Okay. Are you trade some things for you? What do you want me to carry? Okay. There we go. You lead, I'll follow. Give you a little bit Mama more protection. Think I'm girlish enough. That's just stupid girl talk. Okay, so. First things first, we need to get all the way over there. Local map. World map. Okay. There we go. So we are here. Gotta get to there. Actually, we gotta get to here then. We gotta get to there then here. Oh yeah, this is another one of the mods that I uh, got. It's the Lord of the Rings mod. It just gives you more weapons. Okay. White run stables, yes. You're just gonna skip over this whole part. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Uh, to hire a carriage. Where do you want to go? Uh, Ripton. Yeah, we want Ripton. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Come on, buddy. If you've never been to Ripton, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. A few mugs of dads and you'll forget all about the long trip. I'll take your word for it. Man, my legs are starting to cramp up. 
There we go. Hey, buddy. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. I smack you for that. Do we actually want to go in yet? Man, these god rays are beautiful. Look at that. See it. I'm sorry, I I'm stupid. <laughs> ah, but you gotta have fun. See, there are secrets in this water. It's true, isn't it? The dragon was attacked by the dragon. Me! I can bring down such a beast. As I am a beast. Okay. Uh, so we're just gonna follow the arrow. are mean, man. Somebody help. I don't wanna. I'm gonna just for the save point. Let's go in. Whoa. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Visitor's tax? For the privilege of entering the city. <laughs> what does it matter? Uh, sorry, dude, but it's not that nice of a city. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try persuading them. Keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? Kinda. I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Tick tock, Mr. Belvedere. Tick tock. I'm renting out of patience. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Good boy. Take my advice. I don't wanna. Okay. Mage armor perks are defensive spells more effective for anyone wearing clothing instead of armor. Really? Huh. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, now that we got the checkpoint, we can go back. Don't worry, we'll go back to Riften eventually. Uh, if you guys want me to do like uh, the Thieves Guild questline, or the Dark Brotherhood, or the Mages questline, or the Bards. Oh, you know what? We're going to do the Bard anyway, because the Bard is pretty fun. I like the Bards questline. Not the most glamorous, like the Dark Brotherhood with the heart strings or like the Thieves Guild, but it's pretty fun. All the same. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna cut it around here so you guys can, uh. Man, those god rays, I just love them. Mm! Give me those rays! But, uh, okay, uh. Sorry, what was I? Yes. Uh, we're gonna cut around here so you guys can, uh. 
not have to be forced to sit through the long walk to the town. Um, I will start back up once we get to the mountain. Look, I'm just here to keep watch. What you're looking for is down inside. What? Um, this is a first. Uh, let's see what's in here, guys. How am I supposed to get in here, dude? For what's down inside? Ooh, what's this? Battle of Red Mountain. Oh, we'll take that too. I like books. If you're buying, go on in. Otherwise, shove off. Are we buying? Huh? What are we buying? Doing something illegal? Should I stop you? Should Mr. Stabby be a vigilante and stab them? Eh, I'll let you guys decide. You know what? Nah, I'll decide for this one. Hmm. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself. Or we'll be getting better acquainted. Ha! You think you Head can take me? And behave yourself. If I don't wanna, huh? Huh? What are you gonna do, huh? Huh? Just stare at me? Go on downstairs. You're bothering me. Wow, you're as friendly as could be. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Healer. I don't believe we've seen you here before, have we? No. Buy from me, then join any booth you'd like. You seem tense. Join a booth and relax a bit. Or did you need another fix? And the secret is our mystic red water spring. The magic in the waters opens the mind to experience skooma in a way like never before. How about a sample? Since it's your first time, sure. Find a booth and enjoy. Whoa. Hmm? You guys must be stoned. I think that guy's dead. Hmm? Are you dead, buddy? this is about don't do drugs kids remember this is a video game <laughs> red water skooma oh The water from the spring makes the skooma so much more potent. We'll have all the thralls we'll ever need. Good thing the boss heard that old farmer running his mouth off in the tavern about finding this place. Oh, okay. Well, we got 20 lockpicks, so we should be good. Ah, damn it. We may feed again today. Whoa, you're ugly. Like, really ugly. Like, that's not even a face a mother could love. Are very unprepared for that. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. 
We'll have to come back to this later. I'm right behind you. Congratulations. You lead, I'll follow. But I just want to get back outside. Man, I did not expect that. Okay, well. I got nothing on me. If you're looking for skooma, head on downstairs. I'll have to keep that place in mind for later. I wanna hunt. Okay, well we're gonna skip again. Sorry about this. I really don't mean to make you guys wait this much. Okay, so. Welcome back, we made it to the little town. It was a little bit of a challenge, we found some monsters and stuff like that. And... On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clivet? Not we're gonna today. go up the 7,000 steps. I'm just steps. not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my deliveries more often. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Mostly food. The Greybeards tend not to get out much. Well, it's kind of an un... Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be. And climbing... Yeah, let's really? do it for them. Well, that would be kind of be you. Be nice. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll... Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes Damn of Damn right. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Alright, that's all I need to know. Be careful up there. Except there's a bear right over there. Let's give this bear a friendly little butt poke with an arrow. Bad dog. You will not eat my tasty reptilian flesh. Yeah. Stop teach you, Mr. Bear. Ah. Oh, this is also another mod that I downloaded. Kane's Fire. Now, there is a challenge to this, but we're not going to do that now. I don't want to have to force you guys to sit through that. Now, this is another thing. Like, uh, if you read each one of these tablets, you are actually immune to animals attacking you, except for dragons, for a solid 24 hours in real human time. In our time. So we're going to, like, click, okay. And we're going to go up to the next one. And we're going to try to run it. That bear was a nasty surprise. None of that doesn't normally happen. Ooh, what's this? A hole? No, a hole. Now that uh, immune to animal scene, that's in the default game alone. You don't have to have a mod for that. A lot of people don't really know that. Hello, Mr. Goat. You know I need to have a talk. Like this. Oops, I missed. There we go. Might get hungry later. Yeah, the orange box thing is kind of annoying. It's like a thing that's been happening lately. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. There we go. Of course, we're going to make a stop at the one of the mods I made, the, uh, the Lord of the Rings mod. 
because honestly we could use a better bow or sword. No. Bad. Sit down. Good boy. <clears throat> Man, these guys breed like rabbits. Take your felt. And move it on. No. You won't escape from me. Yeah, I know. It blasphemy. Bad clever shot. Bad clever shot. You stole. Not really. You're just out there. Be ashamed to let them go to waste. Okay. Now this is one of the mods I've been talking about. They use these as a statue. That's all right. Now, in this forge, you can exclusively make Lord of the Rings weapons. Like this one right here. Now they do require. Some of them do require firewood. Uh, others not so much. Uh, this is a good weapon to have right here. But again, you need firewood. Otherwise, you know, you can't make the stuff. Actually, there might be some stuff in. Nope, never mind. False hope, sorry. Didn't mean to get false hope. So, until we get, like, uh, the stuff we need, we can't make any, like, uh, special weapons. That. But we will get back to it. Eventually. This is a long walk. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed the path to higher. No kidding. You're only the third person to tell me so far. Man, people. I'm on. Make it, make it. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, I see you up there. I see you up there. I think you're cute, huh? Well, bad news for you. I'm adorable. Oh boy, this is not gonna be fun. He's got a lot of health. Okay, I'm just gonna sneaky, sneaky, sneak. And like that, he found me. <laughs> now, frost trolls are a pain in the butt. They are really hard to kill. Because they just heal so damn fast. They hit damn hard. Oh, I wasn't kidding when they said they hit hard. Oh boy. Run! Run here! 
this would be a good time for you to shoot him. No? Not gonna help me? Alright, fine. You can deal with him. No. No, go away. Bad troll. The good news is trolls are not that fast. I give that troll pretty. He's got persistence on him. Hey, if I could just make it, he'll leave me alone. Okay, there we go. The troll will now leave me alone. Man, I hate frost trolls. Alright. Well, now that we had that, like, done. And I think this is the last one. There it is. I think that's the last one. There we go. Voice of the sky added. Now let's see. Fear spirit. Okay, no. Blessing and Talos, no. Voice of the sky, okay. Animals will neither attack nor flee from you for 24, well, 23 hours. There we go. Okay. Now we go down to here, drop off the stuff like we promised we would, we can find it, there we go, give, there we go, and where were you, you were no help, okay, well, That was a bit of an adventure. Okay, so. Oh, excuse me. Well, I think we will end it here. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching the uh, episode. And I will see you guys next time. So, yeah. See ya.